Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of arc. A for arc, B for basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we're going to be discussing one of the not early game tames, but one of the better mid to uh, mid game tames that can actually carry on into the end game. It's these guys are really really good in their little niche that they fill. Now, their niche that they fill in the mid game when you get them is so much bigger than in the late game because in the late game you only need them for one specific thing but if you uh, can get these guys right around the same time that you get a thylacolio or something like that uh, you can take these guys and you can have fun you can ride around with them uh, they can be your little buddy they can you can take it you can go out and you can get a whole bunch of uh, chitin uh, harvest up a bunch of stuff because they will harvest just about anything that you can uh, point them at I mean seriously if you can shake a stick at it they'll be able to harvest it um, it's really effective plus they're also one of the better ways of actually getting into the swamp cave, especially now that we have cryopods. Yes, cryopods are a game changer for these guys. They took something that was already pretty decent and they made it wow. All right, <laughs> they just did. All right, and we're talking about these guys over here. Uh, Megatheriums right here. Um, and this guy right here, I call this guy Cave Runner because all this loot right here I've gotten from, um, well, different events, but most of it I've gotten from the... Um, Oh, from the uh, um, Swamp Cave, which is really, really good. I mean, it's kind of amazing just how effective these guys are inside the Swamp Cave. You'll notice this guy, he's got a ton of hit points. Yeah, he's been bred. He's been imprinted. He's got a ton of melee damage. This is um, one of the guys that I saved over from my army that I was going into the Broodmother with. Because like I said, you start off, you can get these guys. I believe the saddle is 54 that you can put... Um, a saddle on one of these guys which means that you can tame them before then but you're not gonna really get much out of it until you can actually stick a saddle on them and you can ride them around but once you can stick it is it seriously raining while I'm doing this <sighs> Oy vey. all right so anyway uh, rain aside yeah once you can stick a saddle on these guys they they are very easily uh, can become your buddy and one of your best buddies yeah almost as good as say like on the regular island like a Therizino or something like that because these guys, um, not only do they harvest up everything, not only can you get them inside um, the cave, like the swamp cave, where you can get so much chitin with these guys. Oh my gosh. So much chitin. You're going to end up overburdening yourself um, with all the chitin that you have. And that is hard to do, trust me. But they'll do it. And um, they'll also be able to go out and gather a bunch of stuff. And then uh, they, they'll just be a tank for you. These guys can take on Rexes. It's kind of insane. They get a buff whenever they're... Um, well, naturally, they do extra damage to insects. Any kind of insect. A dung beetle, um, a spider, an araneo, um, uh, mantises, anything like that. They will get a regular, just standard increase in damage. I believe it's like 150% damage that they get to that. Once they've killed their first one... They get a buff for the next two minutes that increases the amount of damage they do by a significant amount. I believe it's 250%, which adds to the original damage that they, the extra damage that they already do to insects. So once these guys have that buff, they just become a powerhouse. And they will be able to take on so much stuff. And that raptor just pooped right behind me, didn't he? <sighs> okay, all right, so this this intro is going really well. <laughs> Rain, raptor poop, what else do we have? Come on, now all we need is a wyvern to swoop down from the sky to eat me, all right? Bring it on, Ark. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, we're gonna go out, we're gonna tame one of these guys, we're gonna do it the simple way first, and then uh, we're going to uh, do it, um, well, we're gonna discuss the, uh, um, the advanced way, but you can knock these guys out, the lower level ones, easily with a crossbow. Um, they, when they're wild, uh, the crossbow tends to, uh, here, let me show you. Because these guys, they have a whole ton of torpor. And the amount of torpor they have out in the wild, it's pretty intense. So, 
If you want to try with a crossbow, be very, very careful. Bring a magnifying glass. Make sure you're paying attention to how much health they have. Um, but if you've got it, use a long neck. Long neck with a, um, a tranquilizer dart or an increased crossbow, it makes life so much easier with these. I mean, you don't have to have an ascendant crossbow like this one. You can use, say, like this blue one. As long as you're doing more damage than base damage, you'll be fine. All right, but on the base one, on the base 100% uh, crossbow right here, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a bit iffy. Just be careful. Be mindful of them as you're knocking that, and we'll discuss that um, as we're going out. Now, these guys, um, they spawn just about everywhere. All right, now by everywhere, I mean any place where bugs frequent. You will find megatheriums hanging out close by, usually around the swamps, the redwoods, places like that. Um, places that are close by, places that, uh, like I said, if there's if there's bugs, there's megatheriums because that's what they eat. All right, so now what you really need to do is just take out your favorite uh, um, animal that you normally go right around on. Mine is my floppy-eared uh, companion. That's a uh, thylacolio because these guys are absolutely amazing. If you don't have a thylacolio, you can go out on a raptor, anything like that. You can go out on an argent pteranodon even if you're going to lure it into a trap. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to go... Hello? Oh, there's Alpha up there. Hey, Alpha! Suck it, dude! All right, so um, as we're... Uh, yeah, we're going to lure um, one of these guys into a trap. Now, uh, you can use any kind of trap. You can uh, set up just a couple... Uh, a trap with uh, doors. Uh, you can set up a trap with pillars. Use your imagination. Whatever is ha whatever you're comfortable with. Me, I'm gonna use my mobile gaming pen, which is on my raft. And I just like these on the island because you can just stick them anywhere you want, so right like this. And I need to get you inside of there. I forgot you don't go up there. It's been a minute since I used this. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Alright, fine. You don't want to go up in there? Seriously? You were coming right at me, man. Alright. Let's see. Nailed it! Alright, there we go. Alright, so now that we've got that all sorted. Alright, now this right here, this taming raft, it's just uh, got enhanced... It's just... Um, I've got stone foundations on the bottom, extended out, and then a couple stone ceilings on the side to give it um, two taming pins on each side. And then uh, you can just insert this anywhere you want to right along the redwoods yeah it's a pain in the butt to drive but after you get the hang of it it's it's actually really simple all right so let's go over let's see if we can find one over here somewhere somewhere out in the distance might be a megatherium actually they're gonna be all over here i'm surprised i don't see one already all right i parked the raft over here because I, I caught um sight of something all right yeah see these guys right here they these are them in the wild as you will notice, them, they usually spawn in pairs, just kind of creeping out and doing things. Um, yeah, all right, so now we're just going to um, grab whichever one, that's 70, okay. And then what are you? You are 55. All right, well, we're going to grab the level 71, and we're just going to take you, and we're going to lead you over to our pen. Now, we have to be careful, because they're definitely going to come in pairs, but... Um, we also need to make sure there's no bugs along the way. Come on, guys, because if there's bugs here, they will eat said bugs, and then they will get a buff from said bugs, which will rip us a new butthole. Yeah, it, it, it is. And Sirius is going to stop pooping right in the middle of the way. Sirius oh, there was bugs right there. All right. Oh, okay, but here, let me show you. All right, here's some bugs, and let's lure some bugs over to this guy right here. There we go, and he just freaked the hay out, which means he's going to go berserk, and he's going to have that red aura, he's going to take less damage, he's going to attack everything that um, just gets in his way, and we're just going to want to leave him alone for two minutes, yeah, until he gets done throwing his little tantrum. And then we're going to take and put him into our taming pen. So we're just going to wait on this for two minutes. And then... Whoa! He just flung that dude way over there. Wow, later, man. It was nice knowing you. All right. So, yeah. The poop hits the fan when these guys turn red. Just FYI. Okay. Now that he's done being angry at everything around him, let's just shoot him in the face. Come on. Come on. 
Come on. Yeah, I know you want. Come on. All right, let's get you over here. Come on, buddy. Let's see. Can we get you inside of here? Seriously, come on. Get out. Thank you. Oh, you're not in there? Fine, I see how it is. Um, compies, leave me alone. It's having problems over here. Seriously? All right. All right. All right. Come on, dude. And you notice he's hitting me pretty hard. Yep. Seriously? All right, he just keeps jumping over the side. All right, let's see. Seriously, you're gonna be attacking my raft, huh? Fine, if you're attacking my raft, I'm gonna attack you back. All right, but notice he's already starting to show a little bit of blood loss here. And from the beginning, we're just gonna be pelting him. Seriously? All right, all right, all right. All right, so now that that happened. All right, now he's in. Thank you, knocking me out. All right, now we're gonna wanna let him uh, regenerate a little bit because he ended up taking a hit. All right. Woo! Okay, now he will harvest meat if we uh, let him, but chances are in the wild, he's not gonna eat the meat. He's just going to uh, smack it and then make it meat. Um, waffles, and then from there, he's just gonna go from there. So from now, what we're gonna be doing is we're just gonna shoot him with a trank dart and see if we can get him out that way because he's already really, really weak. And we're gonna go wicked slow, because we might actually kill him this way. He's looking so painful. So bloody. Alright, but he's already running. Don't die on me, alright? Alright, we're gonna let your... And now he's out. Okay, so now... Wrong button! All right, so now that we've um, got him knocked out just barely. Holy crap, I can't believe he didn't die from that. All right, now there's a couple different ways that you can uh, tame these guys. One way is because these guys are omnivores, um, and they're one of the only true omnivores in Ark. Now, you can either use regular meat, you can use mutton, you can use uh, kibble, and you can use honey. Right, so I think that's actually what we're gonna use. We're gonna use some honey. I mean, we do have the kibble, but why waste the kibble when we have the honey? Because the honey is just barely, um, not not as good. No, no, no. You wait right there. All right. Yeah, I know what you were gonna do. All right. So yeah. All right. So now we're gonna take this. We're gonna throw this in here. And it's, I mean, that's way, way too much honey. It's not going to take nearly that much. But I don't have anything else to use the honey for. So we're just going to tame him up with this. But now that we've got this, we can uh, take the, we can take, and we can pull him, hopefully, away. Now, he, if you hit a rock or something, he will get snagged and then uh, dragged out of the raft. But if you can take him, you can just put him just in the water like that. Chances are nothing's going to hit him while uh, he's getting tamed up. And we can just go get our Thyla, and we can go hang back out in, on the raft, and then just kind of chill out, grab our coffee. You know the deal, right? All right, now that he's unconscious as well, one thing I wanted to cover, see how high his torpor is compared to his health? That's why crossbows are 
it, it's really hard to knock them out with a 100% crossbow. You can do it if you baby them, take it down baby steps, but I would recommend that, yeah, go with uh, your best long neck, your best crossbow, stuff like that. Something that's not doing base damage because whenever you uh, um, have a increased uh, crossbow, yeah, it does more damage, but it also does more torpor. So, and it does a lot of torpor, a lot more than 100%. So I would recommend, especially with these guys, my personal recommendation, long neck. The best quality long neck you can. If you don't have that, go with an increased uh, crossbow. It will make a huge difference. All right. So while Kibble gives this guy, you know, you'll have, you know, the 99.9% .9 taming effectiveness and everything. This one right here with just the honey, it, it's doing the same thing. I mean, it's just slightly less than Kibble. So there's really no need to uh, search out, to bring your best kibble and stuff like that. And superior kibble is the one they take, by the way. Um, you really just need honey. So just go pilfer some bees nests and then grab it. All right. One last word before this guy, or before this girl gets up. Um, now, if you're taming this on regular um, default settings and she's up, uh, you might need a little bit of uh, narcotics. Uh, not very many, uh, especially if you're using honey or kibble. Uh, and I recommend don't taming these guys with anything other than honey uh, because using kibble on them is just a waste. Using mutton on them is just a waste. Just throw some honey on them and forget about it. Uh, you might need to take a look at their torpor a little bit. But yeah, I'm running at uh, times four, I believe, on this. And yeah, it's I didn't need any narcotics whatsoever. So yeah. All right, so we're not even going to name her anything right now. We're just going to take and we're going to stick her butt inside of one of these. And then... Give me all that back. You don't need it. All right, but yeah, notice that, uh, yeah, she actually has some pretty good stats. I mean, she's only level 55. She's already got almost 2,000, uh, well, level 82 now, and already got almost uh, 2,000 health. So she actually got a really good roll on her for um, what she is. So now let's take her back to base. Let's throw a saddle on her, and then let's go uh, um, show you just what these girls can do. All right, so now that we're back to base, let's throw her out. All right, and then, like I said... As you are leveling up, if you can find some really nice high-level ones of these, 150s, 145, stuff like that, take them, breed them, imprint them, mm -hmm. and you get results like this, and they turn out just absolutely amazing. These guys are just, yeah, <laughs> they're powerhouses. All right, so let's uh, make the saddle for this girl. All right, now the saddle for this is, let's see, uh, crafting, oh, oh, hold up, whoa, 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 all right. Megatherium. All right, it's level 52. Okay, I said 54 earlier. Sorry, it's 52. All right, so, and it just takes 100 cementing paste, 130 fiber, 325 hide, and 55 metal ingots. It's not that hard, meaning the cementing paste is a little bit rough, but that's not too bad. All right, so let's take this. Uh, Megatherium, bam, nailed it. All right, get that thing crafted up, and I... Uh, let's see. I can't sit by idly and let honey go to waste. So, there we go. All right, uh, sorry, Foo, let me get out. Uh, good job, Foo. All right, uh, let's see. So, as we have the saddle going, bam, nailed it. Grab that sucker. Go stick it on out here. And also, by these guys right here, with the uh, megatheriums, with them being able to farm the swamp cave just over and over and over, you can get really nice uh, um, Megatherium blue saddle blueprints out of the Swamp Cave. So, you, by doing it, you can just upgrade your Megatherium as you go. It's kind of cool. Not only are you leveling them, you're also getting better saddles. But remember, when you go into the Swamp Cave, you need to have either a gas mask or you need to have the um, prerequisite requirements of combination of Gilly and uh, Scuba, which is... It's a uh, scuba tank, scuba mask, ghillie boots, ghillie pants, ghillie, um, oh no, ghillie pants, ghillie gloves, scuba flippers, scuba mask, and scuba tank. Yes. Um, if you don't, you will, you will take damage or use a gas mask. Both of them are equally as, they, they work just as well. I actually prefer the scuba tank because it's easier to repair than the, uh, um, gas mask. All right, but yeah, these guys right here, they will farm just about everything. And then also, like dire bears and like Therizinas, 
they will also farm fiber, which is wicked cool at these lower levels. A lot like most shops and stuff like that. These guys will uh, um, harvest fiber, which makes them really, really good harvesters. Plus, also, they will uh, harvest up uh, berries, stuff like that. And then when you smack trees, you get primarily thatch, which is a huge bonus. That way there, these guys, they harvest thatch just about as well as moose. It, it, it's, it, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. These guys, they harvest so well. And then just like when they're out in the wild, when you uh, encounter bugs, let me go see if we can get some bugs over here. We usually have some right over here. Um, but yeah, you will, even when you uh, have them tamed, just like the wild ones, they will do increased damage. Oh, it's just, oh, it's infested by Trudons. Ah, and raptors. Usually I can find bugs over in here. All right, let's go see. Unfortunately, this might rain on my parade. You know, pee on my picnic and all that. All right, so let's go down towards the swamp because these guys right here are really at home when it comes around to the swamp. See some bugs and megatheriums. Or not megatheriums. Uh, um, uh, yeah, brain fart. Yeah, you see the mosquitoes, the giant big ones? Yeah. Oh, seriously? No, 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 no. No! Alright, just die, Therizino. Doing too much damage to me. No! Oh my gosh. But also, they'll harvest meat. And also, you can force feed them meat to heal them up. Woo, that was intense. <laughs> All right, so, yeah. That happened. <laughs> Let me get this thing up. Meganura, that's right. I knew the name would come to me. Oh my gosh. You know you've been playing Ark so long when you forget what everything is. All right, uh, no, 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 no. Snake, I will shoot you in the face with a shotgun. All right, you doubt me? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, that's what I'm talking. You two! Guilty by association. All right, so, uh, yeah. Um... And not only will they do increase damage, they also take a lot less damage when they have the buff. Matter of fact, when that um, Therizino uh, came over and started smacking me, that was like my first thought was, hey, I need to... I need to go find a bug so I take less damage. But I wasn't able to find it. So, or I wasn't able to see one, and also I was out of stamina. But, yeah, these guys right here, they harvest so much chitin from uh, bugs that once you get these guys, if you uh, don't want to raid beaver dams, these guys are the best way of getting chitin. They, they are just absolutely the best way. It's kind of cool. All right, I was hoping I could show off the, uh, bu the buff that they get because also it increases their movement speed, everything like that. But, anyway... Enjoy these guys. These guys are really awesome, and they are really good at being your friends. Now, like I said, if you're going to uh, grab one of these guys and have it be just your regular mount, which is fully viable in the uh, um, oh the late early game and the mid game of Ark, I would recommend that you uh, just wrong button that you just uh, level up health, maybe a little bit of stamina and some melee damage. That's it. I would say every uh, two levels, well, every five levels. Two in health, one in stamina, two in melee damage. Maybe occasional one in weight, but it's really not necessary because this guy right here, level 86, already has 986 weight. It's pretty it's pretty cool um, how much weight these guys have. Also, when you get up to have your uh, breeders get um, bred and imprinted, they just go through the roof. Yeah, their uh, movement speed is better, everything. And then um, from there... 
I see you. What are you? Go away. All right. Um, from there, take these guys, breed up an entire army, and then go and uh, um, take on the brood mother. Because the brood mother, the boss, the brood mother, these guys right here are the recommended um, dinos to be fighting the brood mother right now. And I, you can farm them with a really good army of these. You can uh, get a whole ton of element from her, everything like that. Because when you go in, um, she spawns uh, spiders. And then plus also she is a bug, so you do normally increase damage against her. And then also when you uh, kill the spiders around her, um, every time each one kills a spider, they get the buff that increases their damage for two minutes, which means the broodmother, she just drops. <laughs> it's really, really cool. Um, the key thing is just make sure you surround her. Don't just send the entire army right in the um, front. Somewhere uh, she uh, doesn't do a full frontal attack on your army. And then because they're, they're not going to have, you know, as many hit points. But you really don't need that much. I would say if you're going to take an army of these against the Broodmother, breed them, imprint them, go with about 22,000 health, and then the rest in melee damage. You don't need stamina if you're not going to ride them. All right, so hey, I hope uh, the video helped you out. I hope you um, you learned a little bit. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. This is Flinger Foo, and uh, take it easy, everybody.